In the past 12 months, 90,000 people have died from a drug overdose across the U.S., and each one of those deaths was preventable. No one should be dying from a drug overdose. The Substance Use Disorder Initiative at Mass General Hospital is unique because it brings together professionals from lots of different areas and departments and breaks down the silos that have long existed in medicines. My name is Dr. Sarah Wakeman. I'm an addiction medicine doctor and a general internist. I'm medical director of the Mass General Hospital Substance Use Disorder Initiative and program director of our Addiction Medicine Fellowship. Our Addiction Medicine Fellowship program is a one-year clinical training program for doctors so that they can learn the best evidence, the best clinical care we have, and also from all of the different creative components of our Substance Use Disorder Initiative to be able to take care of people with Substance Use Disorder. I will say that I've been practicing medicine, hospital-based medicine, for about 17 years. I found that I was lacking certain skills to holistically and comprehensively treat my patients with substance use issues or substance use disorders. The fellowship really uh, provided me with uh, the foundation of skills to really address that knowledge gap I had. And then it taught me how to be a different type of clinician, which I didn't really learn or experience or practice when I was doing hospital medicine. I would say the skills that are needed to thrive in the field of addiction medicine are things like being sort of open and curious about your patients and their experience. That will really take you a long way if you sort of approach people with an air of sort of non-judgmental curiosity. That's a really strong first step. When I was applying for fellowship here, I did know about the community care and reach van, and that was a big part of, a, of the draw for me. I was really, really interested in working on the van. I have a pretty long-standing interest in kind of street medicine, outreach medicine, and really physically, literally meeting people where they're at and trying to provide the best care that we can there. The MGH Addiction Medicine Fellowship is unique in part because of our broader substance use disorder initiative. So our fellows get to train in this amazing sort of learning laboratory of a bunch of innovative clinical programs that are really novel in the way they're designed and the opportunities they provide for patients and for the trainees who are learning from, um, from these various care components. I would say what's unique from my perspective is our interprofessional team-based care model where we have recovery coaches, and social workers, uh, nurse practitioners, and clinicians all working together. And sort of everybody brings something unique to the table and you learn a lot from all of those different disciplines throughout the course of your fellowship. I think the fascinating thing about the field of addiction medicine is the way it sits at this nexus or this intersection of lots of different areas. So you have elements of medical care and medical treatment that are incredibly interesting, um, both intellectually and on the clinical level. But then you have the broader issues of the way that we create policy in this country, the way that we police communities, the way that racism has impacted our society on so many levels, issues of discrimination and injustice. And you also have this tremendous sort of resiliency and um, the survival of the people that we're serving. Being in Boston, we are deeply committed to reflecting in our staff and faculty the diversity of our communities and of the patients that we care for. The benefits for fellows coming here first is learning across the sort of innovative initiative and getting to work with lots of different types of addiction specialists, including people with lived experience, addiction psychiatrists, addiction medicine doctors, nurse practitioners, social workers, and to be a part of the Mass General community and the broader Mass General Brigham and Harvard Medical School community and the many resources and connections that come along with that. And then to be in, in a great city like Boston, where there's so many other opportunities to not only learn how we do things at Mass General, but our neighboring institutions, where we can collaborate about how we could best and most effectively take care of our patients is another unique part about being in the city of New Boston. Our goal is to support the people that come to train with us, whatever their unique passion and joy and, and journey is gonna be, and to help them succeed in that and help them launch into their career. Well, I think it takes maybe a somewhat unique person to really love the work, but if that is you and if you are that person, then this is an amazing job to have and it's so cool that I got to go through medical school and residency now to have this job. My hope is, and my nirvana is, that every provider will have the knowledge and skills to take care of patients with substance use and substance use disorders. 
it's a really exciting time to be part of addiction medicine because it is such a fast growing field. It's now sort of board accredited, so you can become board certified in addiction medicine, which really positions you as sort of an expert in this new and exciting field, which is for me one of the real benefits of fellowship. It's exciting, it's fast paced, it's innovative. And I think a lot of um, trainees and a lot of younger folks in medicine, they get that this is a social justice issue, that this is the health crisis of our times. And so they're drawn to addiction medicine because of that. And this fellowship program allows them to really be at the leading edge of change and innovation.